So this will be attempt number 66 of a no damage run on new game Ultra Hard. <clears throat> so, as always, let me do the intro here, just in case it is to run, so if people watch it on YouTube, they'll have a better understanding. <laughs> so, I'm currently trying to beat Horizon Zero Dawn without taking any damage on the hardest difficulty, Ultra Hard. The rules of the run are fairly simple. If I lose any health on my health bar, the run is over. However, there are two places that don't count, or kind of three. Uh, there are two places um, that has scripted damage, which is after the proving and after its defense. I don't count those places because, uh, like I said, they're scripted and can be avoided. So, uh, you know, that would be no fun if we counted those because then the run is impossible. There's a third one here at the end of the childhood, or before we start training regress, but... Kind of debatable if you want to call it scripted damage or not, but so to keep that in mind. Other rules are simple: uh, no shield reaver armor and no yellow potions, because that would make it too easy. Um, <clears throat> so none of that. And also, there is a time on screen, but this is not a speed run. This is more of a challenge run. I don't care about how fast I'm doing it. I only care about how. Um, I don't care about not getting hit. Obviously, I'm still gonna play through the game relatively fast for the entertainment value of the run, but it's not a speedrun. And currently, my best run so far is getting all the way to healers without getting hit, so relatively close to the end. But uh, hopefully this is the one where we go all the way. And in case you don't know, I have completed the game before without taking damage, but that was a New Game Plus Ultra Hard. I also completed the Frozen Wilds on New Game Plus Ultra Hard without taking damage. Both of those runs are on my YouTube if interested. Obviously the difference here is now I'm trying to do it in New Game, which is a lot harder because you start from a complete fresh, need to gather resources and weapons. Which obviously uh, makes fights, since you are weaker, can make fights longer, and there's more risk. Because fights are longer. And that, that is basically it. So right there is the scripted damage I talked about, because technically the first time you see the health bar, it's not full. If you want to call that scripted damage, be my guess, but obviously it doesn't count, because there's no way to avoid it. Because you have that medicine tutorial there. And like I said, the other two places with scripted damage, I'll explain those when we get to them. <clears throat> Further down river, Obviously, Astral. Yes, I if I get one shot, then yeah. Are they dangerous? The run is dead. All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. Do, do, do. Also, in Aloy the place here, like, such as childhood, if a watcher spots me, technically I don't lose any health. But if I were to get spotted, I would count it as a hit as well. <laughs> now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. You found me on YouTube watching live for the first time. Nice. Uh, how do I say your name? Relike. Let it pass. Real Relikey. Happy to see you on the stream. I'm glad you enjoyed the YouTube. Slower you move. And hey, Ollie. Hope you're doing well, Ollie Cambo. That's the last of them. Let's move on. I didn't ignore the joke. I just explained it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing pretty good too. I actually, feel a lot better than I have in the last couple of days. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. You like my accent? Uh, I'm from Denmark. So I have a bit of a Danish Come accent now. when I speak da uh, Danish. Follow. Yeah, I have a Danish accent when I speak Danish. No, I have a Danish accent when I speak uh, English. 
There. See them? These are called striders. Oh, it's relic. Okay. Why'd you chase them off? Relic, it is then. To show you how some machines I'll uh, remember that. You, or try my best to away. remember it. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Now, I want you to find some rocks. And there's a meme on my channel where people like what? to say I'm Swedish or live in Sweden in order to annoy me. I will show you how to use Because obviously when you're Danish you don't want to be associated with the Swedes. <laughs> You know, Denmark, Sweden have a friendly rivalry between us. <laughs> Didn't always used to be friendly, but these days it's more of a friendly rivalry <laughs> between our two nations. Like, fun fact, did you guys know the two countries with the most wars between each other is actually Denmark and Sweden? It's not France and the UK. Denmark and Sweden have had the most wars between two countries than any other countries. Harvest the kill so I can use the stocks as arrow shafts. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Here. Stay low in the grass. It's time. The cat is still on its back. Good strike! Good. Strike again! Good fight. Go. Oh. You did Look. well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow. Because a lot of people, if you ask them the question, which two countries have had the most wars between them, most people would say England and France, but it's technically Denmark and Sweden. <clears throat> and how many wars is a bit debatable. Depends on which historian you ask. Because some of the wars are so close to each other that some people considered it either two wars or one war. So, it's a little bit debatable how many wars there's actually been. Can't let them see me. <laughs> I mean, England and France just seems like the obvious answer, so that's why most people would go for that one. Total years at war? I'm not sure. I would have to look that up. To be fair, a lot of the wars have been quite quick. You know. Only fought over a month or two or something. Hey, Gregory. Didn't have a hundred years war. Um, I think Denmark was a little bit part of it, Where, weren't we? He said we go hunting this morning. Don't remember all the story about the hundred years war, but I think the Scandinavian countries for a brief moment was part of it. <clears throat> but I'm not sure. What's he doing up there? He's just wasn't the quickest war now. three days. What's going on with him? Uh, I'm not sure which war is actually the quickest war in history. No, but I would you? Of course. There have been some I'll go. short ones. Yes. I'll go. Hey, stop. Uh, something's really bothering him. Um, like the Crimean War only lasted, you know, hours. But some would argue the Crimean War is not even a war. And of course, then there was the football war in Middle America. That one only lasted, I think, four days. The football war. My whole life, I've never gone beyond this I'm not sure what is, if there is an official answer to the shortest war in history. Two days. Two days until I get answers. Two days and I'll know who she was. And why I was cast out at birth. As if there could be an excuse. Alright, time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. 
I should find a herd. Yeah, fun fact, it's cheaper to subscribe on uh, on your desktop on Twitch than it is to subscribe on your phone. Because if you subscribe uh, or buy bits on your phone, it's you have to pay 30% uh, to Apple. <clears throat> or Google. Whatever phone you have. So it's cheaper to subscribe uh, on desktop. Unless you have Twitch Prime, of course. Come on. There we go. When my name was called to the mountain. If you have enough meat now. Easier when I was a kid. The Anglo sends about war lasted less than an hour. Never heard about that war. But uh if it lasted less than an hour, I would assume it's the shortest one. <laughs> In case you're wondering, I'm gathering bony meat and fatty meat because I need that to craft fast travel packs. Because when you play on ultra hard difficulty, there's no free fast travel packs. You have to collect meat in order to get those. It's considered the shortest one. Interesting. What's the fattest dust I've completed the game? You mean speedruns? If they weren't looking for me. Uh, if you scroll below the stream, you can find all my speedrun times. But, uh, New Game Plus, the fastest main game time I have is a 1.45.43. And for New Game Run, it's 2 hours, 27 minutes, and 14 seconds. Wonder what I can find. <clears throat> need this. <laughs> that area back there. I wonder if I can find a way into it. Well, but a uh, bit of practice you can get there. If you want to speed run. <laughs> Better practice, learning the fastest route and some of the best strats. You'd be surprised how fast you can do it. <laughs> I feel like most people that learn the speedrun are usually surprised by how fast their first time is. Just ask some of the runners I that are in my chat. I think they would agree with that. <laughs> no one else around. Looks safe to meet. My guess is he'll be waiting. There he is. Oh, uh, people in my chat that have Run Horizon, and I'm pretty sure a lot of them would agree that their first run was better than expected. <laughs> oh, I forgot to equip it. I guess that. I've got what I need. Yes, we'll just equip it now. Whatever they're hunting out there it doesn't sound easy. Aloy, you're here. Yeah, I you wait. Good night. That carcass. What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth. It's something new. Something angry. <clears throat> Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they appeared in one day. Yeah. I mean, as in keyboard, if you get rid. Oh, nice, a blue damage card. Um, if you get really good with mouse and keyboard, you can do pretty well. Obviously, I would say some of the skips and the movement is generally easier to do with a controller, but. <coughs> but, um. But you can certainly get pretty good with mouse and keyboard in the game for the speedrun. 
I mean, I play exclusively with the controller, so... Come on. Uh, he might not get stunned from this now. Okay. Uh, that's some bad placements there, but... Hopefully you'll hit. That was a bit of a sketchy fight here, but got it. Bit of a sketchy fight, but survived it. Didn't get hit. I mean, yeah, if you're gonna speedrun uh, with mouse and keyboard, I would recommend rebinding the dodge button to somewhere else. <clears throat> to something a bit more comfortable. Like the few times I've played the game with mouse and keyboard, I had, I put uh, uh, dodge on one of my mouse buttons. Makes it a little bit more comfortable. Yo, Hutch, thanks for the hundred bits. First, the proving. What's up, gamers? After that. I don't know. What's up with you? <laughs> Appreciate the hundred bits, though. Thank you. Fast traveling, yeah. Ah, yes. The good old YouTube comments. You know, I saw you fast travel in the Embrace without having gone there. You must be cheating. Uh, for those who don't know, there's a lot of people that comment on my YouTube. Not a lot, but, you know, a handful of people that comment on my speedruns on YouTube. That always say, oh, you fast traveled directly to Ross. That shouldn't be possible. You must be cheating. And these, those people obviously forget that... Or, I mean, those people probably don't know, but you can fast travel to settlements in this game. You don't need to fast travel to a campfire. And it just so happens that whenever you start the game, no matter how you start the game, all settlements will be unlocked for fast traveling in the Embrace. Therefore, you can go directly to Rust without having been there. But in the speedrun you do it so fast that you probably don't notice that I'm fast traveling to the settlement. You just assume it's the campfire. <laughs> I mean, most YouTube comment. What am I doing? I need to go to cost. Get myself a shop shot. Almost forgot it. I mean, to be definitely most comments on YouTube are are positive and all that. But there are just those that stick out. And those are usually the most entertaining ones. We'll start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Hey, Lord. There's Owen. I have some questions for him. I blow their mind, yeah. Or the people that try to be a smartass when they come in on YouTube. Those people are also annoying. For example, the people that come in on my uh, spy only video saying, Oh, you're not even doing it on Ultra Hard. <laughs> and then I usually comment, Hey, if you looked at my channel, I did complete it on Ultra Hard. Here's the video. And so far, nobody has ever replied again, after I've told them that. <laughs> Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> How did the last run went? Uh, I died at Eclipse Space. Got shot during the escape. Sadly. <clears throat> Uh, 
Uh, or the people that comment, for example, on the video I made about the secret ending on the side quest, where people are like, you know, technically it's not really a secret ending, it's more of a bad ending. Well, it can be both, my friend. Eh, I don't like that guy looking at me. Let's go away. And also, why are those grazers still up there? Anyway, let's get a trophy and move on to the next round. The reason why I call it a secret ending is because most people don't know about it and the game doesn't tell you it's an option. Wait, he didn't die? What? I hit him, but he... What? There we go. That definitely hit. Close for comfort. Oh yeah, and then there's a bro comment there. That is hilarious. <laughs> the command nightbot just posted there is a legit comment that I've gotten on YouTube. And it's hilarious to read. That makes all but one. Is the outcast coming? She was behind me! And there's also a couple of people that had commented on that video saying, you know, I got the secret ending in my first playthrough, so it's not secret. It's just like, like, why? First off, how did you get that on your first playthrough? Singing off, it can still be a secret just because you found it. <laughs> like, how would you? I don't know. I mean, statistically, I'm sure somebody probably got it on their first playthrough, but like, how do you get that on the average playthrough? <laughs> Partner is closer than you think, Nerdfighter. I can talk about it after the proving. Need to, uh,. Need to focus on the proving fight first. I mean, I don't know, I just find it funny with those comments. They don't really bother me. If I was bothered by YouTube comments, I would be like crying in a corner right now. Perfect. <laughs> you know. I just think it's funny to read some of those comments. That's why I do the funny accent. I'm like, uh, you know, actually, um cereal is a soup. Beat me you know, now. to emphasize the comedy of it. Too many of them. We can't win. Or the people that come in stupid shit like, uh, oh, you're not really good at the game because you just practiced a lot. I'm just like, what? <laughs> That is the funniest comment ever, where people are like... I've gotten one person comment that before, where it's like, he was like... Uh, you're not really good at the game, you've just played it a lot. Uh, something along those lines was his comment, and I was just like... That's... What? That's how you get good? Uh, apparently that guy just assumes natural talent is the only way to get good at something. They're too strong! Don't give up! There's more! They keep coming! How many are there? Take her down! That guy would legit go up to Kobe Bryant and say, Hey, you're not really good, you just practice a lot. <laughs> oh, he's jumping down. So, headshot and then get behind cover before I kill him. So if you practice a lot, guys, you're not good. Too many of Keep that in mind. <laughs> ah! Aloy did it again. Stop climbing over things you're not supposed to climb over. Aloy. It's all these enemies here. One headshot and a body shot kills them, as you can see. In the first two waves, at least. 
It's just a dumb claim, I mean. You know, yeah, I wasn't that good at the game when I first played it. But I got good with practice over time. Kill them! <laughs> They're too strong! We can't stop them! I don't know, I mean, I don't know how a person like that, that has that belief... Like, how do you live your life if you're like... Oh, I shouldn't practice, because I want to be good at it. Like... Too many of them. Like, it must be so... We can't win. Like, that mindset must really ruin a lot of things in your life if you have that mindset. <laughs> right, sharp shot. Oh god, this guy is rushing. Okay, I got him. That's a little scary. This guy's going on the left here. Headshot. Body shot. He's dead. Okay, last three guys here. Need two headshots or a headshot and three body shots because they have a bit more health than the guys in the earlier waves. And also in the last wave here, Aloy is the only Nora left alive, so I'm the only one they can shoot at. Meaning that I have to be extra careful when I peek these guys. I mean, that's like saying you want to be a doctor and I like... Nah, I don't really want to study, I want to be a good doctor. <laughs> like... That's the same mindset, right? <laughs> I want to be an airplane pilot, but I don't really want to practice. I'm just going to do it on my first try. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. This is my first flight ever. Don't worry, I'm good, so I don't need the practice. Have a safe flight, everyone. <laughs> Alright, so that's the proving done. You can get all the loot here before you um, finish the proving, because the proving doesn't end until you loot the leader. Let's grab some loot. <laughs> uh, somebody asked me what was my opinion about Assassin's Creed games. I assume that's what you mean with AC. Because when I see somebody say AC, I assume they mean Assassin's Creed. Because sometimes when people say AC and they're a Nintendo fan, they refer to Animal Crossing. But... Uh, by the way, just quickly explaining here. Uh, after the proving, you saw I finished with full health. Once you uh, skip the cutscene of the proving ending, you will be at 75% health. That's because Aloy supposedly take damage in the cutscene. There's no way to avoid this, because like I said at the beginning of the run, it's scripted, therefore it doesn't count. So I'm gonna heal myself up so we can easily keep track of our health. And just a reminder, there's one more place after Ritz defense at the very end, where there's also scripted damage. I mean, there's lot of, lots of things with AC, but game. Um, my opinion, I don't know, don't... Not really a huge fan of Assassin's Creed. I've only played two of them. I played Assassin's Creed 3 and Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. My favorite one is Black Flag. 3 was fine. Um, uh, really like Black Flag, but Black Flag would have been a much better game if it wasn't an Assassin's Creed game. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That would be my opinion about it. You said the tribe is on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was set And I haven't played any of the new Assassin's Creed, like Valhalla, Odyssey, or Origins, either. And my opinion about those, even though I haven't played it, they look way too long. So, probably would not enjoy them. I don't like games that are too long. Because it seems like you need at least 100 hours to get through Valhalla. <coughs> so that's a bit of a turn-off for me. Uh, as for the partner question, as I promised to answer, 
so last Sunday, I think it was, I actually applied for partner because I actually hit an average of 75 euros last Sunday. However, yesterday it got rejected. But in the email they sent back to me, they did say that everything about my channel seems good. They just want to see if the growth continues over the next month or so. So if that continues, I can apply again in a month and hopefully uh, get it there. Most people, to be fair, I just want to be clear, most people get it rejected on their first try. So in a month I can try again and then we'll see if uh, they think the growth has been good enough. But uh, very few people get it first try. Just want to keep you guys that in mind. Usually most people get it like second or third try. <laughs> what does partner give you that you don't have now? So if you become partner on Twitch, you get uh, the most important things for you guys that watch is I get guaranteed quality options. So right now you guys have the option to watch the stream in like 1080p, 720p, 420 and so on. Uh, I'll look at that sub in a sec. Um, but thank you. Uh, so you get guaranteed quality options because when you're an affiliate, which is what I am right now, that's what it's called. Uh, you don't always have quality options. It depends on how much load there is on the Amazon servers. So, uh, so if I don't have quality options, that means you guys can only choose 1080p. And obviously not all of you have the ability to watch in 1080p. But when you're a partner, you're guaranteed to always have the option for your viewers to choose something they can watch in. Um, so that's probably the most important thing for viewers. Um, the other thing is... Uh, the other thing is you get the ability to get more emotes. Because right now, tier 1 subs, I only have 5 emotes. Um... <clears throat> Oh, gotta remember to place the wire here. Uh, but when you're a partner, you can unlock more emotes depending on how many subs you have. So that's the most noticeable thing for you guys. There's also some other things. Uh, you get a slightly better cut on subs in terms of how much money you make. Um, and uh, yeah, that's and then a few other things as a partner. But the main things are like more emotes and quality options, guaranteed. Alright, let's hope the Stratos don't hit my bombs here, because otherwise this fight becomes really hot. Because it's really annoying not having guaranteed quality options, because sometimes people will join my stream and they're like, I can't watch, because, you know, it's only 1080p. Alright, they didn't hit the bombs. One more shot should finish him. Got a Strider coming for me here, so gotta keep moving. The fight ends as soon as I loot the Corruptor, but I just gotta keep a lookout for all the Striders here. Oh wow, the Nora did a really good job. Wow, the Nora killed the Striders instantly. Nice job. Let's see if we get a good call here. Only got a fire call from the Corruptor, so that's not great. But uh, let's see if any of this is useful. Really? No coils? Wow, no coils. Just a bunch of lenses. Oh well, at least we got outside the embrace. Seven seventy-two p stream. I I need to do a speed run in seventy-two p. I'll do that soon. <laughs> and when as I say, I don't know when I'm gonna do it, but that challenge run needs to be done soon. Watch yourselves. You see, 4K Horizon streams. Uh, you cannot stream in higher than 1080p on Twitch. 1080p is the max on Twitch. 
Because uh, very, very, very few people would be able to watch a stream in 4K. Some of you might be able to, but it's a very small minority that have the internet and hardware to watch a 4K stream. Probably can't ride them all, but I might find a use for them. So that's why nobody streams in 4K, except for a few high-end broadcasts on YouTube, I think. But on Twitch, the maximum is 1080p. <sighs> I know there's been some talks to maybe change Twitch to allow for, what's it called, 1440p? But uh, I don't know if that's gonna happen anytime soon. I don't really know how many people actually use 1440p. I don't think it's that many. I don't know if Twitch really cares. My focus is picking up some kind of but uh, 1440p would probably be the next thing they would do. <laughs> yep, just died. Call Peter. Because I'm gonna trample a bunch of animals. <laughs> this must be where the war party got massacred. Such destruction. Maybe I don't know what word you're talking about. Yeah, a... Obese? But no. I don't think Twitch has banned any words in chat, it's just if you're if you have, um, what's it called? Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, if you have, uh, some parenting settings or, um, there's some filters you probably have turned on in your Twitch account that, uh, blurs out certain words in the chat. As in TOS, there's no words other than the obvious that are against TOS, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> Obviously, something like the N-word is against TOS, but... Like, there isn't, like... For example, the word simp, a lot of people think it's banned, it's not. You can say simp, you're just not allowed to use it against someone. You know, as a slur towards someone. But obviously it's hard to tell, because it's no secret that Twitch is, uh, you know, um, Twitch's uh, bans are not exactly consistent. I'm pretty sure people know about that. Here she is. Like, I think I saw a poll from, like, a tech YouTuber the other day, where it was, like, only 13% of people used, um... Uh, 1440p when they play video games so it's actually not that many that uses it like most people still just use uh, 1080 uh, they saw us. This new game plus, look in the bottom left corner of your screen. Uh, I think I have enough meat at this point. Oh, there's scrappers there. Spotted those scrubbers pretty late. So, just gonna hug the water side here. I can get out of this. 
Oh yeah, I'm way more into higher frame rate than uh, resolution. Because I feel, in my opinion, frame rate makes a game look more... Frame rate makes video games look more better than resolution does. <clears throat> like, uh, a game looks more next-gen if it has a higher frame rate than if it's 4K. But 4K is just a better buzzword than frame rate, because uh, the average uh, PlayStation or uh, the average gamer doesn't know what frame rate is. Uh, actually, I need to go this way. Yeah, Horizon only runs at 30 on a uh, console. Hopefully, there'll be a PS5 patch for 60 soon. I imagine. Hopefully something uh, around when they announce a release date or something, for Forbidden West. I mean, yeah, obviously once, I would say once you add 120 p- oh, sorry, 120 frames, you know, it doesn't really matter more at that point. Uh, but even when you're at 60, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. We talked about it before, like, 60 FPS makes things look better and all that, which... Oh my god, why are there so many machines? Uh, how do I get around this? Like, uh... Going from 60 to 120 is very minimal, and 120 and above is like, it's not really that much of a difference. I guess I can just go up here, but I was a little worried because a lot of times there's machines on the other side of this hill. Oh yeah, consistent FPS is way more important. Like uh, for a console game like this, I would rather, I would rather have 30 and um, I would rather have stable 30 than inconsistent 60. Oh, by the way, Libaton, I completely forgot about your sub. I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, Libaton, thank you so much for the 13 month free sub. I got carried away in the conversation. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, dude. Really means a lot for the continued support. Hope you're doing well, and thank you again. Uh, what was your message? Well then, chat, let's... Yeah, let's keep things going and I'll get it, yeah. Uh, thank you for the sub. I'm not sure if you're still here, but I appreciate it. Sorry I missed the message. Oh, God. Eyes on the road. Gotta keep your eyes on the road. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Fraggle. So, in case you're wondering why I'm going to the Frozen Wilds, I'm going to the Frozen Wilds to get a Striker Bow, because when you play on Ultra Hard, all the merchants uh, are five times as expensive, exception for the Blue Gleam. And when you play in New Game Mode, all you need to use to buy the Striker Bow is Blue Gleam. And the Striker Bow is the best and most vers versatile weapon in the game. So, uh, that's why I'm gonna go and get it. Because getting any other of the, for example, shadow weapons would take too long to farm out resources for. Like you know and farming out resources would put me more at a risk. So therefore, not worth it. It's better to just go and get a striker boat. Also in the Frozen Wilds, I'm also gonna get a really good damage curl from my striker boat. Even in the speedrun, when I speedrun uh, the game in new game mode, we still get the Strago Bow, because 
It's actually faster to get the Striker Bow than it is to farm resources for a Shadow Weapon. So even if you go to the Frozen Wilds, the Striker Bow is going to make up more time than uh, it takes getting here in the speedrun. If you have not seen the any percent speedrun. <clears throat> also, with higher frame rate, if you're using higher frame rate to get a competitive advantage, like, you need to be fairly good. Like, you need to have quick reflexes and be fairly good at the game you're playing to take advantage of the gap from 60 to 120. And you need to be, like, one of the best players ever to take advantage from, let's say, 120 to 240. If you are thinking about using frame rate for a competitive edge. Yeah, L uh, Linus Tech Tips has a good video on it. Showing uh, different frame sure rates and testing it and all that. I've worked up a sweat from the climb. Should you do Frozen Wilds before Helis? Uh, up to you. You can do it after. Not that you'll stay long. Like, it makes no difference, uh, gameplay-wise and story-wise, if you do it before or after the final quest, the Frozen Walls. Oh, I triggered the cutscene first. Gotta remember to get the box before I move out. Spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's drum. I want or she was rumor not domain. I wonder if Aratok could tell me more about it. Head over here and get this box because there's a Carl in it. There's a chance we can get a good Carl from it. Yeah, snow uh, looks really good in this game. In the frozen mods. Machines. That's one thing they make look right. really beautiful. To do that, I need to talk to her. Outlanders, wait, wait a moment. North. I will not allow my song to be forgotten. So a lot of people always say with frame rate that oh, you need higher frame rate because it makes you a better player. But, like, once you have, like, 120 FPS, it's not gonna help you. You know, then you also... You could get higher frame rate, but you need to, uh... Have, like, a high skill level as well to take advantage of it. <clears throat> God, that Watcher is so close to the road today. Or in this run, at least. Jeez. I'm gonna go the back way around here. That way I should lose the Watchers. Uh, do we have Sawtooths? No, the Sawtooths are not spawned, so I should be safe to just go in here and get it. Occasionally here with the this blue gleam spot there will be two Sawtooths spawning in. So, gotta use my focus to check that they are not here. As running into a sword tube is the last thing you want to do in a no damage run. It does indeed have Ursus. Here's sword tube to the my left here. Saw me pick up that animal figurine there. That animal figurine is the only animal figurine you need to get the damage curl. You don't need to get the, all of them, you only need to get one. And it has to be that specific one, because that's the one that gives the curl. But you would know that if you had watched my uh, Frozen Wilds curl tutorial on YouTube. As I'm sure all of you have watched. 
<laughs> it's pretty much any other guide on YouTube or on the internet will tell you to get all six animal figurines. But that is completely unnecessary. Unless you want to get 100%, of course. But if you only care about the coil, then you only need that one. Same goes for the shot coil that you get for all the pigments. You only need the third set. You don't need all nine. I did submit for GDQ, but I decided to just use my old submission video. Because the run hasn't changed that much since I made the last one. Uh, yesterday I wasn't really in a good mood and was really tired, so I didn't make a, a new one yesterday. I just used my old one and submitted. Uh, I forgot the date, but I think it's on the 12th of May or something like that, that they'll announce the schedule. Oh, nice. Are there any new New Game Plus strats? There are some new strats, but they're not specific to New Game Plus. Oh, there's a new Flur Skip, which uh, saves, I think, 14 seconds on uh, Magersend. For example. I think that's the biggest new thing that's found. But uh, nothing major. But 14 seconds on Maker, maker said is pretty good, of course. Don't get me wrong. But uh, it's basically a way to um, that Fleur found to skip the dialogue in between the holograms. So you might remember when you watch the three holograms at Maker's End, there's some Aloy, you know, talks to herself and talks to herself after each hologram. Uh, Fleur found a way to skip that dialogue, so you can go from one hologram to the next instantly, or basically instantly. This stuff on a machine like frost. Uh, you just do a restart from save at a specific point. And that skips her dialogue. Uh, Striker Bow requires 16 blue gleam, and I just got 15. But if you remember the animal figurine, the animal figurine is gonna give me the final piece when I trade it in. Because now we are gonna go and get the Carl at Mary. Uh, what's it called? Montana Recreations. How many restart from saves are there in total? No idea. Not that many. I mean, at Mager's End, it's like two. Because there's three holograms, so there's only dialogue between two, you know, or two breaks. Looks good. The Magnificent American Black Bear. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Beautiful. I... Oh! Uh, when the... When the I... But as you... 
Go. Indeed. The, his, yeah. the, the wrong option there. I should, of course. If I... And let's see the bison one, just for old time's sake. Bison, bison, bison. That's the actual Latin name of the regal American bison. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Latin? Oh, we don't have a bison command. That's some sort of old world. <laughs> Maybe we should make a bison command. Any good curls here? No log on the first one and no log on the second one. So we have pretty bad curls in this run so far. That sucks. But uh, hopefully it'll improve later in the run. But so far, coil RNG has been absolute garbage. <clears throat> Dragobo acquired. And then back to the main game. Yeah, the last point the uh, story in the Frozen Wild changes is uh, it depends on whether or not you have completed Zero Dawn. So if you have completed Zero Dawn, then there's no more changes to the Frozen Wilds after that. Yeah, well, I see. Uh, so let's sell some stuff here. And by changes, I mean there's some dialogue changes depending on how far you are in the main story. And uh, the last dialogue change happens after Zero Dawn. Uh, oh, oh yeah, coils. Oh wait, I forgot I had a. I forgot I had the blue damage coil, so I actually do have a. Never mind, I actually do have a decent coil. I completely forgot I had that one. Um, then we buy the sling. And there we are. Crafting, carry capacity, upgrade sling pouch. Put on curls. I'll just put on the fire curl, why not? Um, and that's it, right? Yeah. I don't have that much wood. I don't have that many shards either. I need to keep on my eye on them. Is there changes after guys dying, please? In which dialogue? Is it the one with Cyan? Oh, where does the dialogue change after dying, Blee? So there's new options after dying, Blee. Okay, I thought the last one was on Zero Dawn. My bad then. Dying plea. Fair enough. That's doing the heart of the Nora quest. In case you don't know. Do what I have to. Ah, come on. Flames burn stronger than usual. I think that hit. The flames, they're burning it. Okay, I think I got both. Yeah, got both. Beautiful. Let's see this. Did they drop anything? The blue drop here, that might be a coil. But it's not. This poison seems almost to eat away at metal. Maybe that's what drives the machines mad. But in my personal opinion, I feel like the Frozen Wilds is best when you have unlocked all the dying dialogue options. Compared to if you, for example, did Frozen Wilds right away. These machines are so close to me. Well, they are in the, right in the middle of the road. Alright, 
Second corrupted zone. Gotta play it a bit safer than I did last time. Watchers. All right, I'm gonna run out of this corrupted zone here. Make them give up their chase. I should have waited for him to go a bit further away, but um, played that a little too close to comfort or for comfort. They coming back? Looks like they're. Corruption girl, don't need that. Um, that one up there. I'll go for the spore. I don't have that much meat right now. Just the bandits, are they close? No, they must be further up the hill. Yeah, they must be further up the hill. Uh, which sign option do you lose after zero dawn? If I were to guess, one of the ones about Hephaestus? you lose our speculation about Hephaestus. Yeah, that would make sense. Oh yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Kill these two so they don't shoot at me. Oh, I can't imagine replaying <laughs> the PC version on a laptop. Unless you have a pretty good uh, gaming laptop. I don't think it's gonna run that well. Sadly, the game is incredibly CPU heavy on PC, which really sucks. A corruptor. Oh, really? What's that hitbox game? Use the fire attack. Is there any fire? No, not close to me. That fire attack is scary because if you step on any of the fire, you obviously lose health. So you just gotta check that there's nothing close to you before you fire. This corruptor is a bit of a coward. I guess I'm just doing too good of a job of hiding. Uh. Come on. 
don't know. Should be able to get the Watcher here. Watcher's down. And Corruptor's down. Nice. Solid card, your border. Truly, the sun sh shines upon us this day. <sighs> it wasn't the sun risking its ass down here. A uh, fire call. Let's see if that fire call has a better secondary. It does not, so I'm not gonna bother switching it. Where are you headed, girl? West to Meridian. The way we get where the. <clears throat> the world beyond the sacred land. I need to find Olin and learn everything he knows. Who the killers were, how they saw me through his focus. Who the woman is, one who looks like me. Why they want me dead. Olin's trail leads to. I mean, Hades and Hephaestus are definitely not working together. He will talk. Because they have way different goals and. I mean, they were when Gaia was around, but Gaia's uh, destroyed, so they don't work together anymore. But uh, their goals are completely different, so there's no reason for them to work together. And since they're AIs, you know, since they have different goals, they probably wouldn't work together. Unless they would try to outsmart the other and take control, but I don't think they're capable of that. It would be cool, I guess. I don't really see story-wise how that could work. Going through the hunting ground here to avoid the Stormbird. Because going on my mount, normally down the mountain, there's a good chance the Stormbird hits me. Challenge is doable. The first I've gotten is Healers. I forgot what attempt it was. I think it was attempt number 48 I got to Healers. No, it was in the 50s, I think. See someone up there? And it's... <clears throat> Go! I saw those bandits way too late there. Healers is the first I've gotten. And I was on a 750 something. Don't know the exact number. Go around here. Scary bandits, because only one arrow from a bandit can end the run. I do know there's a broadhead chasing me, but if I make it to the road, he should stop chasing. So we're safe. No bandits around the corner here. Gotta be careful with them spawning. And yes, the challenge is doable because I've completed every single split without getting hit before. I just haven't done all of them in a one run. So each of the split can be done damageless. Uh, is there no Conway? Am I blind? No, there's no Conway. Hmm. Interesting. There usually always is a Conway here. So the challenge is just to do it in one go. Which is, as you can imagine, not easy, but it is possible. Well, 
Uh, it depends on the time you get the Alton. And I know damage run, I always get here as you around the 1 hour 10 minute mark. The scripted events you get throughout the game is uh, determined by uh, the time of day in the game. So since in a speed run and no damage run, you're always around there roughly at the same time. You get the same scripted events, aka random events. It's not a guarantee you will get the same, but usually it's always like that. Over so of as you there. A lot not met. We were I how I tar the kill pretty it does I need but no but I don't he's not how okay I I need okay. Hey come back. Olin's place is this way. Aloy, they don't entirely depend on time of day, I'm just saying if you start a playthrough and get to a certain spot where there can be a random event at the same time, or at roughly the same time, you'll get the similar event happening. <clears throat> so that's why in a no damage run I usually always see a convoy there, because I usually always get there around the hour 10 minute mark. <clears throat> So if you played through the game and got to that spot at the 1 hour 10 minute mark, you're probably also going to see a convoy there. Most of the time. I mean, other factors could play into it if you come from a different angle or something like that, but... You know, if you do it the same way I do it, it, it should happen like that. Because obviously even though they're called random events, they're not actually random. They just seem like that. The glyphs show places he visited. <clears throat> There's your how did all but leave it wait out I'm not just don't act what look feel Red Red. All right, let's see if uh, we got a coil in this box ah that's the third corruption coil I've gotten really game really Oh wait, uh, let me quickly do something, because we didn't do it last time, so this time I'm going to make sure. Because last time we didn't have a poll, so this time I'm going to make sure we do have one. There, and set that. There we go. So now there's a poll on the top of the chat, everyone. If you want to decide if we save or kill Olin, you can vote now. And the poll is indeed rigged, so if you want to use points, you can do that. <laughs> Gotta have a rigged poll. Oh wait, I hit the wrong button there. I didn't get hit on Meridian. I accidentally hit the hit button. There we go. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't get hit. I know it showed like that, but... Didn't get hit. If you don't believe me, you can go through the entire Meridian split. I did not lose any health. I just accidentally hit the button for getting hit on the splits. <laughs> Splice run confirmed, yeah. Rip. There yeah, no damage runs. I always let you guys decide whether we save or kill Olin, so... Put in your votes now. I would say, I'm pretty sure in the last two runs we have saved Olin. So, if you don't like saving Olin, you probably should uh, vote against it. Because uh, that seems to be the trend at the moment. They see me. Is that a watcher on the other side? Ah, oh, it's a scrapper. Just need to hug the left side here and the scrapper shouldn't see me. I just forgot when you, uh, the split, the split thing I used to show 
if I've been hit or not. I forgot it has global hotkeys, so when I typed in the poll, I accidentally hit the hit button. <laughs> Alright. Let's do a good find here. You're gonna get spotted? Yep. We're spotted. Kill her! Rip. No! You had your chance. You got oh he's coming he is coming problem is the two archers is alive so I need to be careful here there's a uh, two archers up here that can hit me even when I'm standing up here One of the archers right there spotted me. So let's see if we can uh, pick him off. Creation side, if you're not focused here, you can easily take damage. So, gotta play it safe. Where did the corruptor go? I'm not sure where the corruptor went. Get the archer. This guy's not looking, so I can kill his friend. But one of the archers are down. Oh, the corruptor is down there for some reason. I've never seen him in that position. I'm pretty sure Olin still teleports, yes. And it is possible to do it completely stealthy. It's really hard to do, but it's possible. Finally. I don't like that the archer over there is not peeking. Pretty worried about that archer, to be honest. Need to go for some human enemies or something to lure him out. I set him on fire. Maybe that will inspire him to peek. Oh, with 51% we're killing Olin. That was a close call, but I guess we're killing Olin this time. Chad has decided. Are there still any of the bomb guys alive? There is. Nice, I got him. <laughs> Stop the count. That archer is still not peeking. Come on. Oh, now he's peeking. God damn it. Wait, no, he's not peeking. This is such a weird fight. Like, he's just standing there, and he's not moving at all. I mean, I assume it's because he doesn't know where I am, but... It's just kind of weird. I can't get him to do anything. <laughs> At least the Corruptor is fairly close by, so I can get some cheap shots on him. Just gotta... Make sure I don't peek while he's lining up a shot. A 
Robert is fairly close to being dead. Okay, grab those down. So we got two, one human left. Olin actually killed that guy. Now, now I should probably feel bad for Olin. Killing Olin, because he actually was helpful in this fight. Just making sure... Oh wait, this archer is also alive. No, they're still surprised. Now we just need to kill this guy. There we go. Little bit of a messy excavation site, but uh, we got through it, so we're good. And once again, another useless coil. Yes, rip. I guess this is just gonna be one of those runs where we get really bad curls and the fight is gonna be really hot. What are they? No, what or I fights are gonna be hot. You say, hey, hey, steal such. Um, and what? I've heard enough. It's time to finish this. I won't beg for my life. But if there's any mercy in you, free my family. Please. Where would I find them? My focus recorded the location. <clears throat> there are always guards there. You look like you can handle yourself. All right, all in step. I know you committed your crimes to save your family. But because of your crimes, dozens were murdered. Dozens of families were destroyed. My own included. I can't let you live. You can't blame me I'm for this. Sorry. Blame chat. You got you guys Please. were the ones that voted for it. My family. <laughs> Don't tell them what I did. So you're ready then? To answer for what I've done. The lives I've ruined. Yes. I'm ready. <laughs> The democracy decided to kill that man. You only have yourself to blame, chat. <laughs> Even if you voted against it, you should have done a better job. You had the ability to stop it. <laughs> Money in politics seems good to you. Yeah, to could you something. imagine how bad politics would be if money had an influence? Oh, wait. Yeah, vote harder. <laughs> you didn't vote with enough passion. <laughs> <laughs> Blame the system, yeah. Down with democracy. Long live the king. <laughs> it's earned. He has trouble. Thanks for the help. You tell me what's rigged? The Oscars? Have I'm the Oscars happened yet? Because I heard there was that Danish movie uh, that is apparently nominated. And has a good chance of winning. Right. Yeah. Come on. Two weeks, okay. Isn't the Oscars normally in January? I guess they have been postponed. What is nominated for best picture? Because I feel like there haven't been that many movies this year. Makes sense. 
Like, what has even been nominated? Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cleft. Almost there. I'm pretty sure the only new movie I watched this year, or uh, I guess last year, uh, technically, was uh, The Invisible Man. Hey, this is which it. was pretty good. Where the ambush happened. I don't Our think it's nominated for an Oscar. Fancy artifacts of yours. Doesn't seem like an Oscar movie. Please. Guys, you know, usually it's only certain types of movies that get nominated. The Hobbit? What? Really? How's the Hobbit winning an Oscar this year? Um, the Invisible Man is actually pretty good. I'd recommend watching it. It's going to win the secret wide end work. That's a thing. <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh, I gotta remember here I don't have any freeze curls, so my sling is gonna be quite bad for the Ravagers there. In this fight, but we'll see how it goes. He did not go down discipline. It's actually good in a no damage run if he doesn't go down the sublime. You know, in a speed run, I usually complain if he doesn't go down the sublime, but in no damage run, it's actually quite helpful when he doesn't. Because uh, the guy that glitches out here that doesn't go down the sublime, um, he doesn't have any ranged attacks, so I can climb up here before he, before I kill him, meaning that I can be up here when the Ravagers spawn. Because he's just bugged out now. It's a gl glitch that happens. Uh, I think it only happens on Ultra Hard when cutscene is skipped really quickly. What's that? I think it's calling in machines. Alright, now we're just gonna make sure we don't get shot. An eye on the other Ravager. Peek here. One down, one to go. Nice, I removed his gun. It's running away. Oh, I managed to knock him out. Maybe I can shoot him from here. Okay, I can't. No, too far away. They're like, oh yeah, I'm almost slipping off here. I gotta be careful. <sighs> Not gonna come back, is he? Yeah, I don't think he's coming back. I can go over here. Gotta look out, make sure he doesn't shoot. when you destroy the gun of the Ravager he and you are in a position he can get to he just kind of runs away like he's doing right now because he obviously doesn't know what to do but it's weird he doesn't like just melee fight errant oh. one more shot maybe there we go nice Heron takes a lot of emotional damage, true. I mean, if emo emotional damage counted in this run, I don't think Aloy would make it either. <laughs> in all fairness. Something I've never seen before. What are those leather straps? Armor straps. Cut with a knife. 
and a rock with blood on it. Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. There, by the tripod. A used power cell. And let me just check. There's a chance they have a coil, but uh, probably not. Enjoy this basket of Aloy, nice. I sure will. Thank you. <laughs> I hate the fact that there is no unique mod with freeze and handling at the same time, like the electric coil. The electric coil does not have handling on it. I'm pretty sure. I don't know, Saigo might answer it if he's here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the shark one does not have handling on it. It does? Does it? I'm really questioning myself right now. It might have, and I'm just not remembering. Ooh, double turkey. Nice, let's get that meat. Ah, rich meat. <clears throat> How many fast travel packs do we have? Way more than we need. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it does have handling? Okay, never mind. Hey, uh, it would be nice if the freeze one had handling too, but, uh, you know, I guess they wanted some variety. But the handling status, uh. <laughs> Handling is not necessarily that important on uh, weapons you use to freeze. Unless you're trying to freeze very aggressively. But, uh. Because usually, if you're freezing something, you're probably doing it at a distance. are right there. Good thing the travelers are pretty far away, so I can just go around them in a big circle. Olin said he found an image of a woman I resemble on an ancient device. If she's my mother, why would there be traces of her? Damage and freeze? So far from Norland. I mean, you can have that. It's just just not with unique mods. Is Elizabeth Sobek. You spying through my focus again. The one I have uh, that I use in New Game Plus speedruns uh, have something like that. I forgot exactly what the coil is, but it Go has on. like both you know freeze and damage. Stay on your present course and before long, you know her as well as I do. Oh, you meant freeze and handling. But ah, yes. Maker's end is crawling Handling is more important than on Robecaster than Terra, true. Terra doesn't do anything on the Robecaster. Or it does, but, you know, it's no benefit to have Terra coils on it. How does he know these things? He said Elizabeth Sobek. What kind of name is that? Ah, dear Psycho. If you ever have a question about mods, ask Psycho in the chat. <laughs> He's the master of uh, mods and coils. <laughs> Pressure's lifting. Rain's here. God, I've killed so many in <laughs> Oh wow, a triple. Killing all the animal <laughs> animals on the road. <laughs> I have a good night's sleep, Rick. Take care. Let's see if silence are a bit more nice today. I said it would be. A spear called. You gotta be. Screw you, silence. Screw you, silence. A spear coil. What? What am I supposed to use that for? Wait. Damn him. 
He wants me to succeed, but he gives me a spear curl. That's what I think of that. That'd be fascinating if they weren't looking for me. It's in the name. Thank you. I didn't notice that. An explosion. Anyway, let's have a safe fight here, because I have lost a couple of runs recently to Mega Sun here. So, uh, let's play it safe. I do have a good damage going, so I can body shot the archers. But, uh, gotta make the shots count here. All weapons operation. Time to get it moving, and be quick about it. No daydreaming. Never get into that tower. Unless I destroy that thing first. Focus. Stop work. I'm deceived. His focus. Bigger than a corruptor. Focus does up to you. Heavier one. I'll handle it. Okay, I got the watcher. Uh, they're coming on both sides here. But they didn't peek at the same time, so I should be safe. Be able to get this guy. Nice. This guy coming. Oh. No, he's coming. There we go. Good fight. Did it. Those things. What the hell was that? Katie's? Ooh. Hey. Uh, damage girl. It's hey. only a 38, but stranger. I mean. Did you see that? It's better than Your having answer, nothing, huh? I guess. Figures. Thank you. How's the run going? Good? I mean, when I'm doing no damage runs, I mean, as long as I haven't been hit, the run is good, <laughs> you know. So you can't really define if it's going badly, I guess. The only thing I could say is that the Coral RNG has been pretty bad. But, uh, <coughs> other than the Coral RNG, uh, you know, run is alive, so it's good. Feral leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. Yes. From revolutionary consumer products like the, the home, like the Feral Focus, sensors. to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Feral remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, safer and always surprising. Feral Automated Solutions. That'll be a long way up. Frozen metal most of the way. So they made the focus. If plants can find a way to hang on up here. Would you guys be terrified if you were watching TV one day and you got an ad that said for every problem of life, a smart solution? <laughs> you would, yeah. And it's an ad about uh, robots. <laughs> you would lo love a focus, though. True, that'd be a cool smartphone. Yeah, the focus tells you who your enemies are. You sit at the dinner table and you turn it on and you can see, oh god, my mom? No! <laughs> it 
<laughs> yeah, it's interesting that it knows that they are enemies. <laughs> oh well, gotta be some gameplay stuff to it. The way up. <laughs> Mom weak to fire. <laughs> yes. Right. True. <laughs> that would be funny. Your yeah, boss is weak to corruption. <laughs> All right, this ah, to I didn't know you worked in the government. I know you, Ted. You screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get ah, here. Ah, funny joke. So <laughs> There's a glitch in the chariot line. Your killer robots. Peacekeepers, yes. Those. Technically, your boss is mayor of the city. There you go. <laughs> as little as we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? Hilarious. It's worse than that. Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. So far, so good this run. Hopefully, uh, I'll get a handling Carl at uh, Borderlands to speed up my bow a bit and a freeze call at some point it's a catastrophe because uh heal is at the end of the run it's really hard to do if you don't have a freeze call or handling call i mean it's already a really hard fight but the fight becomes so much harder if you don't have freeze or handling so hopefully we'll see that later hey, ignore her. anyway let me quickly uh go to the bathroom while this place be right back the glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or, or we wouldn't be here. Final Crouching zero dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Alright, I'm back. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. <clears throat> I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to US Robot Command. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -boo. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? what? Yeah, I play a lot better when I'm refreshed. Now, your choice <laughs> is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. <sighs> this, this doesn't add up. Hold. 
War is still the most profitable business? War has been the most profitable business ever since war has been a thing. That is just how war is. Uh, I already put on the car. Uh, I forgot the exact number. I think it was... Um, I've heard this number before. Uh, I think uh, in, during World War One, I, I think during World War One, one, I think it was 4,000 new millionaires were created in... Or 4,000 people became millionaires in the US profiting off the war. So yes, war is a very profitable business. Pretty sure that's the correct number, that it's 4,000 new millionaires. Came directly from profiting off the war. So war has always been profitable. Yes. And remember, war is most profitable if you have no loyalty. As long as you sell things to both sides of the war, it doesn't matter who wins, you will still make money. I'm not here to intrigue you. Loyalty is for people that go bankrupt. That's the cynical way of looking at profiting off war. And yes, there's a cynical way of looking at profiting off a war. <laughs> If that's not cynical enough. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get <laughs> Capitalism, indeed. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I need I know. Who Gotta be careful when I fast roll here, because the campfire went to. There might be some uh, machine spawning right next to it. But I have time to get away as long as I react immediately here. Looks like nobody is around. Oh yeah, they blame the people that pulled the trigger. If you're profiting off war, don't worry, nobody's gonna come after you. Unless you make one side of the conflict unhappy. Have a good night's sleep, Fraggle. Take care. Always watching. Oh shit, Rock Burger saw me. Ah, I hate this. Path to Pitchcliff. So many goddamn machines around. At least these guys are not too close, so should be able to safe for a few minutes anyway. Alright, I should be able to just go fast here and avoid them. Did that rock breaker just come out the water? He shouldn't be able to hit me here. Okay, I'm safe, but that was 
I've never seen that before. Wow. That was really scary. I'm not far from Pitchcliff. You. Marad said to look for his agent in the town's marketplace. Pitchcliff isn't far. Marad's agent is waiting in the town marketplace. Exactly. And the good thing about war, there's pretty much always a conflict at any time in the world. But there's always some place to make a profit. Even if your country of origin is not fighting in it, you can still sell weapons to the countries fighting. Or the rebels or whoever they're fighting against. Doesn't matter. It's always a way to make money. But yeah, I've never seen that rock breaker so be so far out the road. This must be pitch clear. Marad's agent should be Normally he doesn't cross the water. That was scary. Oh yes, and uh, if you already have made some money profiting off war, you should have plenty of money to pay the media to stir up a conflict. And then you can profit again. And keep the cycle going. It's a very cynical way to look at it, but that's how the world is. Then no conflict find all. And the best part about making money off war is the government's fighting in the wars. You know, they usually have unlimited bu budgets for said wars, so you can set the prices for what you can set the prices however you want, because they are gonna pay them, because they need you if they want to keep the uh, war going. Because you're dealing with government contracts, and most government contracts, all that matters is that uh, the contract is fulfilled, not how much money they save on it. Just like that company, um, I forgot the company's name, but the, a company that supplies food to the US military, they charged, uh, what was it, $49 for a six pack of uh, Pepsi. Because, uh, you know, the go US government was gonna pay it anyway. But they might as well spike the prices. <clears throat> Oh yeah, it doesn't have to be weapons, you can sell food and rations to the military as well. So you don't need to mentally have blood on your hands, but you can still profit by supplying food or other non-lethal objects to the military. If you want to be a little bit more conscious about it. Just try not to think about whatever food you're giving them might be their last meal. Isn't it fun to just look at the world in a completely cynical way? Or is that just me? <laughs>
What would I eat for my last meal? Ooh, that's a tough one. Hmm. I don't know. That's a tough one. Probably a really good steak of some sort. Uh, with some good fries to it. And a very nice, uh, probably whiskey sauce. I don't know. Something along those lines. Would probably be a good, uh... If you ask me today, that would probably be my last meal. <laughs> Alright. After this fight here. I remember I don't have freeze cards, so I barely freeze them at all. Doesn't look, sadly look like Aaron is gonna help at all. Can't see him. So oh, he's rushing. First, I must be in there. We have Good to fight. get through. Any good curls here? At least we got a freeze curl. Might be something in the boxes. Uh, let's have a look. Fire, stealth. I can use the stealth one. Um. Oh wait, what curl did? Oh yeah, I got a freeze one. All right, so I don't have to worry about freeze anymore. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look at all these useless curls I've gotten. We buy stealth outfit here. Uh, how am I doing on wood? Oh, I definitely need some wood. Two wood bundles should be enough. And gotta remember to put on the stealth coil. It's only a 5%, but better than nothing. My focus is picking up some kind of signal. Maybe I can scan it. So whenever the next big war comes around, make sure you guys are ready to make your money. If you want to make a lot of money quickly, got to profit off warfare. The war chief stopped here. Dressings might be a blood trail I could follow. I should try my focus. I think I have enough fast roll packs for the rest of the run already. Nice. Looks like Sona and her braves headed for that ridge. Safe country to live in next world war? Hmm, good question. Next world war wouldn't surprise me if the safest place to be would be South America. Or, I mean, Antarctica, probably, yeah. <laughs> but it. Yeah. South Africa. South America would uh, probably be my bet. Oh, look at that, a purple. It's a corruption, Carl. God damn you, game. Yeah, I thought the game was gonna be nice and give me something good. Nope. 
Canada? No. Canada is part of NATO, so they will definitely be fighting. The sin of the ancients is buried in that soil. Corrupt or demons. I know of them. <laughs> you would say Mars, yeah. Gotta cuddle up your boy Elon. Ask when the next next ship is leaving. <laughs> Fighting, but it'll still be safe. Sure about that. I mean, if there's one place that probably won't be safe, it's one of the places ne next to the US. Gotta drop those nukes on the US. The World War starts. Most likely it'll be between the US and China. Most likely the war will start because of a conflict with Taiwan. Another good bet would also be Israel, of course. It's also a place a big conflict could start. Could also be Pakistan and in India. Wait, what? There we go. Good fight. PUS will definitely be the reason. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Commanders, over the past month, accidental blaze explosions have killed a dozen men. Here in the ring of metal, oh, I got two fast rail packs there as well. I definitely have enough fast rail packs for the rest of the run. Safe from stray sparks and lightning, and I posted guards to control access. I urge you to take similar measures, or suffer the consequences. Supply Master Thran, out. <sighs> a blaze stockpot. I found something. Damn. There's blood. Please, devil. I'll say. Sounds. Where's that located? Southern New Zealand or Southern South America? I haven't heard of that term. I guess it's South America. Argentina, yeah. Yeah, probably a safe place to be. <clears throat> Argentina. That's what Sorry for my terrible Word. attempt at a Spanish That's accent was. or pronunciation. <laughs> My Spanish is a bit rusty, especially my South American Spanish. <laughs> Let's just nuke the US so they don't start World War 3. Sounds like a solid plan to me. <laughs> Might regret this. Only problem, we kind of need some, need some nukes. <laughs> I would start World War Three. Possibly. <laughs> Some of you might die, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make.
country uh, Germany doesn't have any nukes. Uh, in Europe, it's only France and the UK that has nukes, officially, but most likely it's only those two. Yes, that was a Shrek reference. That's Lord, Lord Farquaad that says that, right? In Shrek 1. Lord Farquaad. Officially, it's only France and the UK that has nukes in Europe. Uh, other places, North Korea has them, Russia, China, India, um, Iran supposedly has them. I'm not sure if that's confirmed or not. Israel, uh, not sure about Israel, I think they do actually. Israel might, I'm not sure. Pakistan? Wouldn't surprise me if Pakistan has them as well. And over in North America, um, it's only the US. And nobody has it in Africa or South America. Yeah, I said France. France does have nukes. Even though by the time they got the nukes, uh, the rest of Europe didn't want them to have them, but uh, they got them anyway. It's an interesting story if you're interested in how France got its nukes. You listen slobbily, it's fine. <laughs> I'm not sure about Israel and Pakistan, but it wouldn't surprise me if they have them. Russia does not have nukes. Sure. <laughs> also, did you know that during the Cold War, the US lost 14 nukes across the world? And... Also, another fun fact about that, nobody knows how many uh, nukes the Soviet Union lost. So, uh, keep that in mind. But, uh, somebody, some of them probably went missing. They have all been sold, yeah. The black market for nukes. This big business. Should have just body shot him. I have enough uh, <clears throat> damage to body shot. Here I am. Is that guy not moving? These last guys in the trenches here don't only have melee attacks, so I can easily. Hit them without worrying. Yeah, there are a lot of missing nukes. I mean, also about the US. Officially, they lost 14. I'm sure if you knew the actual number, it's probably more than 14. And most of those 14s are like at the bottom of the ocean. That'll keep my stomach quiet. You have them all. Nice. What are you gonna use them on? Your neighbor that cuts the grass way too early in the morning? Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Go now. We wait on your signal. Or the other neighbor that plays loud music. <laughs> Just remember, you gotta get a 25 kill streak before you're allowed to use it. So get to it. <laughs> you do have a plan, right? You followed me this far, even into the ruins. I thought you trusted me. Yeah, I do, but how would you know that this base has a weakness? Patience, Bob. Did I play H O I four? What is H O I four? What does that stand for?
Arts of Iron? No. Never heard of it. Take my hand. World War Two Grand Strategy Sum. Sounds fun. Uh, no, it's the earliest I can get to um, the close face. I mean, I could skip uh, the Aaron side quest, like Borderlands and uh, Ambush technically but uh i get coils on borderlands so i would prefer not to skip it but those are the only things i could skip oh god gotta be quick gotta be quick please hit oh thank god Whew. and now behind cover before we get hit go 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 Oh my god, did you guess? Again, another arrow. Now you have to complete the Nora quest to uh, unlock Eclipse Space. By the way, Charlie, why are you saying bra all the time today? If you don't mind me asking. Explosion. There's the other watcher. Is it dead? I must have died. Shot a little too early there. Didn't get any money with that bomb. Don't feel like talking today? That's fair. It is Monday after all. <laughs> Jasper on this is in the news. What? Alright. Nora is not doing a good job right now, and I can't really peek because there's that guy down here. I can't really peek that much. Oh, there we go. Got that guy. That should make all the uh, Nora over here focus on these guys. Go, Nora. Go, Nora. Please win the fight. I believe you can. Three more to kill. Two more. Come on, just swarm him. Just rush him. How did that miss? Alright, last guy. Oh, there we go. I was about to say, there's nobody alive. Why is it not ending? Very nice. It's quickly getting some sweet loot. And then we'll head to Graveheart. To the Graveheart. What is everybody up to right now, by the way? 
What are you guys doing while watching the stream on this Monday evening? At least if you're here in Europe. I guess if you're in Europe, you're probably about to go to sleep. Or soonish. If you got to work or school. Playing some Minecraft, lying in bed. Nom 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 nom. Nice. New game plus file set up? Cool. Oh wait, they heard me? Ah, uh, that's not good. Is it the Watcher that hurt me? Why well, you gotta be quiet when you... So much for being careful. I said quiet, Aloy. Uh, I don't like this movement by the Watcher. Could you just walk your normal path, please? Eating chips in bed? You do know that that is punishable by death, right? Or it should be. Eating chips in bed. Disgusting! <laughs> That does it. All right, good kill. Time to take a look around the room. Can I close? Yeah. <laughs> I don't need that in bed either. Actually, just a pro tip: don't eat anything in your bed. You're gonna regret it. It might seem nice and and all, but don't eat in your bed. You're gonna regret it when you want to sleep. The furnishings were metal. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Elise, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? It always seems like a good idea to eat in bed, but you're gonna regret it. <laughs> you're snuggling a cat. Nice. Is it your cat or just a random cat you've happened to stumble on? I mean, either is cool. <laughs> Trying to sleep is difficult enough, yeah. And also another pro tip, don't eat right before you go to bed. It's also not a good idea. That's two. One more. It's your cat, but you'll snuggle any cat that lets you. That Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Alright, next room here, gotta be quick at the beginning, because they cannot spot me as long as Aloy is talking. So I want to get up the ladder before she's done talking. A little careful there. Let's get spotted. We're good. Safe. Uh, anybody close to the exit? Nope. They don't appear to be looking this way, so we can safely just go down here. Welcome back, 34. Oh, are you the type of person, Chili, that wakes up if you're hungry? I could go to bed starving, and I would, I would not wake up hungry. That? It's a map. But I have heard that the, some people wake up if like they're hungry in the middle of the night. I'm happy that that's not me. <laughs> that would be annoying. I wonder what it's for. As occasionally I will go to bed hungry. Anyway, it's time for this strat right here. Open the door, skip cutscene, roll backwards behind the door. That way we can stay up here while the fight is still going on. Shoutouts to Nevs for finding the strap. And I'm gonna wait for this guy to turn around. Or I destroy the floor here. I'm destroying the floor on the other side of the door and that gives me a better angle to shoot. There's 
normally you're not supposed to stay up here while you do the fight. He can still hit me. The Deathbringer can shoot through the door and hit the roof and do damage that way. But usually it only happens if I peek while he's shooting. So as long as uh, I only peek when he's not shooting, it shouldn't happen. A grave order is the only one where it spawns in three different locations. I assume it, they programmed it that way because they really wanted you to know that power cells are a thing. The developers. Oh, those shots came quick. Now uh, there are three locations. There's the one when you open the door after the puzzle. Then there's one in the ravine with the water at the bottom. And then there's the one I pick up here in the run to skip Silence's dialogue. If you wonder why I pick up that power cell, it skips Silence's dialogue so I can progress a little faster. In the speedrun it saves 35 seconds. Which is really awesome. I just do it in no damage run as well because, you know. I don't really care to listen to the dialogue every time. There we go. Deathbring is dead. Now for the guys on the ground. Good thing about the guys on the ground, they only have melee attacks, so they can do nothing but cower in fear as I destroy them from beyond. This time the floor is not destroyed, so... And stay, kill them from up here. Hang it. Why are you running? I thought I could hit his foot. And there we are. Um, if you remind me next run, next snow damage run, if there will be a next one, obviously if I complete this one, it won't be a next one, but if there is another run, remind me next time we at Grave Horde and I'll play the cutscene, or play the dialogue. <clears throat> Thank you, Dr. Sobert. You can take a seat. Could really use a handling curl here, so I hope that Deathbringer dropped a handling curl. Because that's gonna make my life a lot easier later in the run. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about, Budgie. <clears throat> that is the one I skipped. Unless you're referring to another one. What's wrong with 66? There needs to be another 6 before it's bad. <laughs> to my knowledge, 66 on its own is not a bad number. Eh, I mean, two really good damage curls at least, but... No handling. Maybe it has handling as a secondary. We'll see. Oh, you mean Order 66. Oh, I see. It's a Star Wars reference. I see. Execute Order 66. <laughs> Weapons programmed that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. Oh, it never. Yeah, they never talk about it later. Oh, that's what you mean. I see. I see. Fair enough. Doctor Sobek, I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah, as the Zero Dawn staging area. 
Plenty of space there. My bad. I didn't realize that was what you said. mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them. Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Can't I? Then I'll be off. Yeah, it's probably. Or what if they discuss it in the Forbidden West? Have you thought about that? I don't think you have thought about that one. All right, let's start the prediction. Time for the prediction once again, everyone. Will I get hit on Eclipse Base? Yes or no? Last two runs. We have now had two runs in a row where I've been hit on Eclipse Base. But hopefully this will be the one where we get past it. Uh, I forgot. I need to quickly upgrade my carry capacity for the potions. So I can buy six antidotes. Six. How are you doing on wood and shards? We're doing pretty good. Uh, let's just sell this. I guess we can sell some blaze as well. Because we have plenty of blaze. Oh, that's nice. What did Nightbot? Two percent! God damn you, Nightbot! What is, Nightbot is so aggressive today. First run he said literally 0%, now he says 2. God, I need to... I'm gonna replace you with Moobot or something. <laughs> oh my god, there's a, not a lot of uh, people are voting on hit. People have faith this time. Let me uh, quickly grab something to drink, then I'll start another... Or, not start another run. Uh, <laughs> let me grab something to drink. Uh, I'm thirsty. Give me one sec. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> Let's go. So, are red people believers or vice versa? Is the red or blue that's believers? In the chat. Red are the believers, okay. Got it. And blue are the doubters. So far, most points are towards the Believers. Hopefully it won't be three in a row. I forgot to change the coils. Yeah, I mean, it's better than what I have, but I still don't have a handling coil. But I'll accept it. But at least I have so much damage that I should be able to one-shot the... Uh, <clears throat> One shot the archers and they escape. Spotted. Great. I should be able to one shot the archers actually. With uh, these coils. Because my bow is gonna pack a big punch. There's still a chance I get a handling call from uh, the Thunderjaw on All Mother. The handling call is not necessarily important now. The handling call is important for like Helis and Durval. Helis and Durval splits at the end are really hard if I don't have a handling call.
I did learn the silence drag, did I? Yeah, I did. Oh boy, here we go. <clears throat> Seems like five minutes is the perfect time because it ends before I stop. There are the handholds, <laughs> right where you'd said they'd be. Did you get that silence? No? Fitting name you got there. All right, what now? You wait, that's what. Take a seat at the campfire and. Let's see what's through here. Collective machines. I went for a B of E? Yes. I can do that because it's not a speedrun. This is the easy way in. I didn't say it And even if it's to run, then the people on YouTube can just skip ahead two minutes. <laughs> Obviously I'm not gonna cut out the break, because then people are just gonna be like, oh you spliced your run. <laughs> Calling spliced. So the first still part here is just about having the patience. Gonna wait for the long leg to turn around here and then stabity step this guy in front of me. Speed up the brake pad? No. I mean, the video is already long, there's no point in speeding it up. <clears throat> the run is placed. <laughs> Damn, don't tell them. Now they're gonna be demanding to see my mod folder, and I don't want to share my mod folder. Super lucky. Yeah. It's just luck that my run happened to be spliced. <laughs> I'm not sure how that works, but let's just go with it. <laughs> Back to your business. If you're wondering why I'm using antidotes, antidotes makes me completely immune to corruption damage. So you can see corrupted machines leave that trail of corruption on the ground. I don't have to worry about that when I drink the antidotes. Especially when I go for the steps. And if you're wondering why I'm not using like fire potions or freeze potions elsewhere in the run, it's because fire and freeze potions don't make you immune, they just make you take less damage. So. There would be no point to doing that in a no damage run. Antidote is the only thing that makes you completely immune. Wait for this guy to turn around and then we'll head up there and step a step. Stabity stabity. The tall legs are just over this ridge. You'll see when you reach the top. Now be ready to act fast. You need to get in and get it done before they raise an alarm. Here we go. 
is right here. I just need to wait for this guy to move far enough to the right so I can kill the guy in front of me without being alerted. And then I'll do the gate skip. <clears throat> and then we get to the dreaded escape sequence. Lasting all day and all night. Can't sleep. Do I like a game about enduring victory? You could make an interesting game about that, where no matter what you do, you would lose in the end. The ground here looks Not alone. They could almost make like a score attack game out of that. The gate's barred. No getting past that. You'll have to find another way. We would just be about, you know, surviving for as long as possible. Alright, so the next part here, the beginning of it, the escape is basically RNG. There's almost nothing I can do to avoid damage here, so if I get hit, I get hit. But uh, hopefully, I won't. Everything here is raw. Just get to here we go. And destroy it. Keep moving. That was close. Don't fight. Keep moving. Keep running. Good. Get up. And see. Okay. Run, don't fight. Nice. Fight. So far, so good. Run, don't fight. I'll explain this after I get past this section. If you're wondering why these guys are not attacking me, I'll explain it afterwards. Alright, next section here, there's some enemies that can kill me, so I gotta be careful here. Don't fight, run. Don't fight, keep moving. Run, don't fight. Don't fight, run. Two more. Two more. He didn't get one shot. Don't fight there we go. Yes. Last enemies here won't shoot at me. Nice. We got past the club space. All right. So let me explain what happened there. <clears throat> so uh, and by the way, if there's a mod, can you uh, do the prediction, please? Otherwise, I'll do it in a sec. I'm not sure if any mods are here to finish it. Um, so what happened there was I uh, moved forward to move the... Um, or basically once I got on top of the cliffs to not do the normal escape path. What happens there is along the normal escape path there's a bunch of invisible checkpoints. And because I skipped those, certain things in the escape sequence are um, not there. So, uh, as you saw, some of the enemies were not active and not, you know, attacking me or acknowledging my existence. Uh, that's because I skipped those checkpoints, so they're not active, making, you know, the escape a lot easier. Um, some enemies are still active, as you saw. The six or so enemies at the very end there. Uh, also, a couple of enemies, uh, all the enemies at the very end did not spawn, as well as one of the Deathbringers. Uh, again, because checkpoints were skipped. Now, you also saw me there wait for the cutscene to finish. That is, or uh, not to finish, but I watched the cutscene there because the game is in a... Oh, there's a scrap over here, so I need to pause the game. Um, so, um, the game is in a glitchy state, as you can tell. Um, so, um, so when I go down the zip line, uh, if I skip the cutscene, I would... Aloy would appear where she is in the cutscene, so I can't skip it immediately, because then she would fall to her death. So I wait for the cutscene to play until Aloy is on the ground in the cutscene, then I skip it. Now, problem is, the game still thinks the quest is active. As you can see, it says to curse the darkness, escape the eclipse space. And uh, in order to get rid of that, I have to quick save at this campfire and then restart from save. That finishes the quest here. 
because that gets rid of the glitchy state the game is in. I have to do that because you're not allowed to fast travel during that uh, main quest uh, right there. So I have to finish the quest before I can fast travel. And also the game is softlocked until I do that. So I couldn't even ride to Zero Dawn and continue if I wanted to. Um, and the reason why I have to quick start at this campfire is because of... Um, Um, the reason I have to quick save at the campfire is because I need to restart from save, as I said, and my last checkpoint is at the beginning of the fight. So had I restart from save uh, before the campfire, I would have had been back at the beginning of the escape. So therefore I have to quick save to create a new checkpoint, because the campfire is the closest thing to create a new checkpoint. Anyway, uh, did Nomad finish the prediction? Then I'll do it. Uh his outcome and this time it was a no hit there you go hopefully some people won some points there anyway let's continue the run on to zero dawn who found the strat i found the strat which clit i literally just described it in full detail <laughs> mm. looks like but you got a lot of points <clears throat> All right, Siren on. I have two antidotes, that's more than enough for the Sunring. <clears throat> so I don't need to buy that. I got machines on both sides here. Those Glendhawks gonna see me? Yep. Please don't do it. Do it. It'd be far enough away. Okay, should be safe. Random Glendhawks. The Mad King Drowned Summer Palace. A bulwark of Kaja Mike. Howling Forbidden West. West. For the Set the thing, answer. everyone. Get hyped. But they have no idea what <laughs> lies beneath. We catch her death. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. Nice, nice Gotta remember to buy a war bow here, though. Need a war bow for the sun ring. Charts are out of 500. Not bad. The Sunring, a proud tradition of Bukum. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. What are you talking about? Bots of Success. Murder. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. Outlanders, in the meantime, if you want to hear about today's today. bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Even if it means having First a listen time in the, the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. The balustrade. Alright, right here. Sometimes Aloy does not land on these spikes right here, so I'm gonna be ready to pause the game in case she doesn't. Because climbing doesn't work properly in this game. Okay, she did land on. But sometimes the climbing is like, nah, I'm not gonna drop on the spikes. And you fall to your... Or not to your death, you can survive it, but you lose damage. Or take damage, I mean. And because I really hate climbing mechanics, I'm just ready to pause the game there and restart from save in case that BS happens. Your message is too long, Chili. They can't see it. <laughs> they only saw half of it. But this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend to the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Nah, climbing is uh, the worst gameplay mechanic in this game. <laughs> it's... Climbing is just messed up. <laughs> Fix my layout? What's with my layout? Oh, do you mean because his message is too long? <laughs> 
That's not my fault. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I will so not take blame for that. We found it. Are you really Yo, Ollie Cambo, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate that. Welcome to the L Tribe. Enjoy your emotes, and I really hope you're doing well. Thanks for the support. It means a lot. What was this place? <coughs> holographic theater. ZD01 data intact. Initiating playback. That, that doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow, somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Remember this room the here? Trolls. They got in through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? A tomb? The other two didn't see that. I can pass them undetected. The data points, you're going to ignore them? A tripcaster? I don't have my tripcaster anymore. So... Eh, maybe you could do a strat for that, but I don't know if it will be worth it. I sold the tripcaster early on the run. Yes. Buy a machine. Intruder! Get her! Whatever you do, don't die now. For us. Gotta be careful they don't rush me here. I Hades, then. If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a feral robot? Down. Apollo. The Archive of Knowledge. What happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Huh? Oh yeah, the next room in Zero Dawn is actually gonna be hard. Now that I don't have a handling car. I just thought about that. The next room is gonna be pretty tough. Because you actually have to be pretty quick in that one. There's a lot of cover to work with, so I just need to use the cover as best as I can. I've done this before. Here we go. Another one of these. Need to find the right configuration. Found one. Looks intact. Looks like that part I found upstairs didn't fit here. That should do the trick. How would I rate your cell out? Uh, nine out of ten. Gotta leave room for improvement. <laughs> that did it. Door should have power. Now All right. to see what lies beyond it. I'm for this room. The enemies have always walked in a similar path, but their starting point changes. Meaning they walk. I'm not a fan of this right here. I'm down. Let's go down. And the last guy hasn't seen anything. Oh my god, please die. Guy has so much health. Okay, now to the quick part. They saw me. This is it. This guy is rushing. We have this guy over here. Gonna get some ammo before I shoot him. There we go, then we have the guys coming through the door. Oh, fuck. Missed him. Come on. Fuck, 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 fuck. Where is he? Oh, 
Oh, thank God. Oh my God. I hate doing this room without a handling call, dude. So stressful. Because <laughs> your bow is so slow when you need to load in the triple shots. Still got one more room here in Zerodon. Jesus. That was a close one. But like I said, there's so much cover in that room, so as long as you know where the enemies are and you utilize all the cover, you can do well. I well, got one more room. Normally we skip this room in the speedrun, but we can't do that in uh, no damage because you take damage Welcome when you do it. The collective memory of the traveling a bit. At least in this room you don't really need handling. You can take this room fairly slow. I got all the enemies. Sometimes you don't have to kill everybody here, but occasionally you do. Notified that people are dying. You get an angle on this. But once again, this room also has a ton of cover, so. I'm gonna wait a bit. See what, what they're gonna do. Looks like he's just gonna All of continue to move around. The ancient's greatest gift Silence. Now is not the time to be talking. Greatest? How about the fact we exist at all? To abide in ignorance is a curse, Aloy. You of all people should know that. It's a uh, context of that code. I assume Chess has said something. That was not really badass, but I just called it badass. <laughs> oh, bad boy. Play it slow in this room. There's no need to rush anything. <clears throat> this guy don't have an angle, so... So the Sun Ring. Sun Ring is another scary fight, but uh, with recent strats it has become slightly easier. Welcome to Hades. Zero Dawn extinction failsafe protocol. Looks like the only way onwards. <sighs> Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Looks like it used to hold something. Some component that got removed. Alright, sun ring time. <clears throat> This, it was that I, you can ever. It's always a good run when I haven't been hit. You've got <clears throat> and then yeah. oh, after all, I will no soon in it. Fat you, your foot, and I'll never beat that thing without weapons. My weapon is wrecked on the platform. There's no way out of this ring. I'm going to use the strength against it. 
Quick. Ooh, he was really quick there. Now for the fight. You freeze. Those components on the sides of his head. They've got something to do with his lift attacks. That canister on its own. Looks important. Yes. Good sun ring. Of course, if you do not happy, you're stuck. I'll be wait. Yes, the truck when the I'll come nice kick W. Easy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good. On to all mother. And let's pray to the gods above, or whatever deity you seem to believe in, that we are gonna get that uh, handling call. That handling call would be very nice. Right now. Aloy is your deity. Fair enough. Didn't know Aloy had her own religion, but it's fair. I mean, she is the anointed. Or, I guess in this playthrough, soon to be the anointed. Didn't I do a 100% run? I've done plenty of 100% runs. That smell. Trees on fire. Oh, by the way, if you want to know, uh, Maria's body is, like, right around here. There's a dialogue you can get there from seeing Maria's body. I'm not gonna go for it, because the Corruptor might see me. So this is as high but as if you want to hear the dialogue for okay. seeing Maria, it's right there. Because people asked about it last time. In case you don't know, Maria dies in this attack. I keep saying Maria, it's Maria. Do, 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 do. Time for the chili skip. I don't know, should we call it the chili skip? <laughs> I don't know if Chili found it, but he was the one that told me about it. And cast, yeah, cast is uh, at his house. <clears throat> or his hut, or whatever it is. Assume it's his house. So instead of going through the main game, gate, as the, you know, game wants us to, because that's where all the enemies are, there's a sneaky little way you can get, like I'm doing right now, to get inside the southern gate, the embrace. Going down fast. And because they never thought you would go through the southern gate, there's no machines here. Yeah, cast dies. Let me show you. I can show you without any machines spotting me. So that's 
how you skip all the machines. So if you go here, right here to Karsten's house. Karst. Put up a fight. I'm not surprised. A tough old man. F or R2 in the chat for Karst. <laughs> I guess F is to pay respect, R2 is to honor the fallen. Because R2 is, uh, if you don't know, in uh, Ghost of Tsushima, there's a place where you press R2 to honor the fallen. <laughs> <coughs> you know, to kind of play on that meme. <laughs> but yeah, both Maria and uh, Cast is confirmed KIA. So don't expect them to be in Forbidden West, sadly. First stream? Nice! Welcome to the stream, Moblin. <clears throat> Alright, all mother. This fight is not as scary as it you probably think it is. But then again, I probably shouldn't say that. doesn't go over here like they did last time. So right here in this spot the Thunderjaw can't hit me but the Eclipse can hit me so I still need to worry about them. So I just gotta keep my eye out for Eclipse soldiers in case they get too close to me. really far in the back that's annoying I can't see anything guess I can spot him like this and then shoot like that I'm just trying to make sure the Eclipse doesn't get a line of sight on me Denora also does a good job of helping doing damage here to the Thunder John. Camping? Yeah, sorry. I'm a filthy camber. Got claymores placed all over my back here. And worst of all, I got um, second chance as a perk. I'm like the worst kind of camber. When Eclipse left, he's all the way over to the left, so he shouldn't get over here. At least not soon. Destroy it. So let's just damage the thunder, yo. I think I removed the plates there, so I might get a shot in the heart. Black Ops 2 days, yeah. I was more referring to Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> nope. Can't get a shot in the heart here. Shot to the heart. Get to the heart, yours to me. You give love a bad name. Is the no? All day clubs should be that. Oh, it seems like they're that. Is that it? We did. We did it. Hey, Aloy nice. We only helped. I thought we would die. All right, handling, Carl. 
Yes! Oh, thank praise the Lord! We got a handling curl. And it was a decent handling curl. It's a 55. That's gonna help a lot with Helis and Durval. Alright, so all of a sudden our coil situation is looking mighty fine. <clears throat> now, where's Vaughn? Aloy. You. I'm confused. I see. I need the punch then. So, she out how, by the have you? Sh because what if she sh she excala talk hold for praise to the Amadi guild and worked? I yes. See you inside. Figured I might be here. <clears throat> Shall we begin? I never stopped. So this is Aluthia. This is where I was born. Where you were made. You want to see the birthday data point? Fair enough. I'll show it. In case you don't know, if you go into... not this room, the other one. The first room on the left here. You can get Aloy's birthday right here. Because this is the womb that Aloy was born in. So these are... artificial wombs. The mothers of a new generation hundreds of years ago. And me? And if you scan the... womb here, you get a data point. Well, you can see Aloy's birthday is April 4th in the year 3021. So that is Aloy's birthday. Where you were born. But, but why? Is Aloy a machine? Who? He's just given artificial birth. Yeah, you can see her as a clone, more or less, of uh, Sobek. But we have had that discussion before on stream, whether you see her more as a clone or, I guess, daughter of Sobek, or both. The dream of Apollo. Never realized. Why not? Identity scan malfunction rectified. Aluthianized. Group 1 access unsealed. This is going to be interesting. The kids will be forgotten by the goddess. None of their deeds will live on in her mind. I always like the dialogue here. Pointed. I misread the signs. Forgive! I told you, Lanzra, I'm not your anointed. I'm sorry I didn't see you correctly. You still don't. I don't think you can, Lanzra. Forgive me. Off your knees, Lanzra. Start living on your feet with your eyes open. Aloy, as you commanded, my eyes are open. Good. Now why don't you try keeping your mouth closed? <laughs> I hope you listen to that dialogue on your first playthrough. Because <laughs> it's funny. Uh, anyway, let's move on. <laughs> I hope you knew about that one. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk to pretty much all the NPCs there inside the mountain. And they all have various things to say. Alright, on to Gaia Prime. Getting close to the end here. But of course, we still have Dervil, Dervil and Helis coming up. Two of the hardest splits in the run.
You just learned about it, yeah. Sadly, I have seen a lot of people play this game, and I don't know if it's the game fault for not telling you that you can talk to NPCs after quests, or people just don't do it when they play it. But a lot of people don't uh, realize that you can talk to them. At least a lot of people forget. Or either they forget it or they just don't do it on their first playthroughs from what I've seen. But there's a lot of dialogue you can miss out on. Some graces up here. I'm not taking the normal route here to Gaia Prime because there's so many machines on it, so I'm just kind of going across here off-road in between all the machines. Uh, do I have enough? Fa oh, I have way too many fast travel packs. No need to worry about those. <clears throat> oh yeah, I guess... You could easily miss that one if you don't talk to her multiple times. But to be fair, there's not many of the NPCs where you get different dialogue for talking to them multiple times. I think Lantra is pretty unique with how many times you can talk to her there. I think it's four or five times to get that dialogue at the end. Where she starts mumbling. <laughs> And uh, can anybody decipher what she's saying? <laughs> I wonder if the voice actor actually said something with their mouth closed, or they just tried to mumble. <laughs> Maybe they did actually say something. <laughs> the way to the mountain will be hard. Ferocious machines prowl every step of the clock. Have a good night, sleep, Hess. Take care. Not corrupted. But they will not tolerate humans. So what else is new? Time to head up the mountain. Stalkers in the open. Watchers on the other side. I've just seen so many people play through this game and not talk to any NPCs after quest or sometimes before quest even. But then again, I mean, you could definitely argue that the game doesn't do a good job of telling you that it's a possibility. But if you've played an open world game before, you'd probably know that that's possible. I think it is. Not if you're playing a game literally for the story. Why would you skip stuff? Even even if you're streaming. Ouch. If your chat gets bored by that, then you probably shouldn't play new games on stream. <laughs> or play story-based games on stream. And by the way here, going over the mountain like that uh, <clears throat> skips the stormbirds from spawning. The Stormbird is not spawned here unless you watch the cutscene, and I went around the cutscene trigger, so there's no Stormbird. And also skipping all the other machines on the mountain. For me, I'm starting to freeze a little bit. I need to put on some socks doing the holograms here. My toes are freezing. Of course, you can just find all my feed pics at my OnlyFans. Type exclamation point only fans. If you want the uh, hot feed pics. 
Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sabo. Don't get scared now, but I'm gonna do this. Jump down the elevator. Trust me, I know I don't take damage from that elevator jump. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Did you fall for it? Oh wait, you're talking about the elevator. My bad. Guess that's my way across. My apologies. But boom. Also, usually if you have seen the speedrun, normally we only watch one of the holograms here, but the speedrun skip. Uh, there's a good chance I lose health if I do it, so we're gonna watch both holograms when we do no damage runs. So you get to see the sad Sopek hologram. And while that plays, I'm gonna go and get some socks. How long, long has Ludwig been going? I think he's on day 28 or something. He says he's gonna stop no matter what if he hits, uh, I think it's 30 days or something. <coughs> The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks. This weeks. is Charles Ronson. Concern yourself. All right. Enjoy the sad hologram. Try not to get too sad, and I'll find some socks. Be right back. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a ten millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Now, who I signed up for? Either we sent someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh, no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen. The swarm's too close. Really. It's all right. Gaia's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out. That's what she does. Not like this. There's so much we... Guys, you know me. I'm... I'm no good endings at letting things end, so, um, let's not. So, happy trails, Liz. And, uh, see you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, all right? Liz. I'm okay with this. I want to go home. Alright, I'm back. In her dead. <clears throat> Rest in peace, Sobek. Oh, she survived this time? Nice. I knew she could. <laughs> There's another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. 
because it was the chat awful. voted for it to live. <laughs> sure. <laughs> she survives every time you're not looking. That's how the game is uh, programmed. <laughs> As always, now that we got the hologram that made you sad, now it's the one that makes you angry. When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside. I'm not out of control. control. What? Alpha clearance. The alpha's in there. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, um, please, stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. What I'm trying to say is I can't stop well, thinking about Well, looks like both Seth and Plagueis is not here, so you can praise Ted Farrow all you want. Blameless men. <laughs> And, 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 and women. We're gonna give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted. We've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No. We can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice. It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Don't ask me how it started, but one day people just started praising Ted Farrow every time this hot hologram plays in my chat. <laughs> I really don't remember how it started, but now it's just a meme. <laughs> Some people just want to watch the world burn. It sure is, Charlie. <clears throat> but we got the scary part of the run coming up. Dervil and Helis, you know how brutal both of those can be. Dervil and Helis are probably two of the hardest splits in the entire run. As you don't have any cover on really any of them. And you have a lot of machines and humans to kill. Here for our but before some the truth. I help because when I know which hate yeah, yeah. So I take my then I oh. Alright. Back to Meridian. Yeah, Glint Hawks were definitely a mistake. Glint Hawks were definitely a, a mistake. Just like people that like olives on pizza. Definitely a mistake. <laughs> Just had to throw in the controversial opinion there. <laughs> I don't like banana curry pizza. Stop these lies at once. Flying mount skip? No. <laughs> Definitely not a good idea and no damage run. Uh, 
I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone. I'm glad she wouldn't tell him. Alive only. Uh, if I'll rap. I'll meet Aaron. Take him hours. <clears throat> hey, look, when we but Aaron's grunt, grunt there out of context oh, always sounds funny. When he's just like mm. <laughs> in the middle of skipping the dialogue. He sounds like those uh, giant rocks in uh, Super Mario Bros. <laughs> Imagine people paying to watch that, Chili. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too That would big. be something. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. No blaze good. No speedruns dead. Womp womp. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what you've all promised. The smoke will darken the sun. As the city goes up in flames. Yeah, there's no stalker fights in the main game or main quest. So you can complete the game without ever fighting a stalker. There's a couple of machines that you never have to fight in the main game. <coughs> or main quest. Stalker, Trambler. Um, what is it? Stalker, Trambler, Rockbreaker. Um, no. I think I'm forgetting a machine. But those three you don't fight in the main quest at all. And obviously none of the DLC machines, but that's obvious. Charger? Uh, I guess Charger, yeah. Chatters and broadheads. There's none of them in the main quest. If I remember correctly from thinking from the top of my head. There's a Thunderjaw in the all mother side quest. Or not side, main quest. Or the Heart of the Nor is the official name of it. Alright, the sewer guys are dead. Sorry. It's just... Alright, Durval time. Come on, Durval. Please be nice. And Glenn talks as well. <sighs> time to focus. And if I'm ever in doubt with the Glenn talks, just keep moving. Shit, he didn't die. He's dead. Okay, we're good. Alright. Build this guy and then Glendox. Come on. You can see them. They can't see you. Roll forward. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. Oh, he's dead. I got. He's dead. For sure. Next. Come on. Thank you. Good start. Keep it going. Ah, those majestic, murderous glint hawks. Let's keep moving. Good shot. Uh, 
Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Close. I don't see him. Keep moving. Should all be behind me. Oh, invisible wall. He should be dead. He's dead. Careful with the freeze there. Stuck on Dervil. Because there's more in the way. Just keep moving. Is that? Yes! <sighs> Alright, Clint Hogg's done. <sighs> Alright. Alright, now we are tied with my PB. Hey, what you with budge and I you yeah come on. Well I you know now I'm trying to I uh, no. Can't get ahead of myself. And it's a I well I it, you it's by the uh, uh, spider Ayla, please heal with an it's it was weak I'm trying Marie perhaps yes and ha now I don't. so the thing with healers is healers can easily play out in a way where it's almost basically impossible for me to do it but uh, hopefully that won't happen quietly does it panic in the city will only create another one. Healers is a super hard fight because every enemy there has projectile damage or has a ranged attack and you have almost no cover to work with. The key points to the fight is take out all the goons. Take out the right staircase first, the two guys there. Take out the two on the left, then kill the guy next to Healers and then focus on Healers. An army at the ridge. <laughs> and just hope that you can clear one staircase before the other staircase goes for you and instead of the Kadia soldiers. Roland's apartment feels empty. Should I sleep? Did I leave anything unfinished? And then of course Helis is no joke either because he has his stupid fireballs. <sighs> Perhaps massing forces for the long march to the city gates. That's not worth smoke. And what is it? The end. Or how it begins, anyway. Chile is doing so much PR, you would think I'd paid him. <laughs> you spoke of to the guns to the guns now by the sun do what she says <clears throat> all right let's get it all of you be ready to fire will the guns hold them back
Come on. No. I hate this fight so much. So I better make sure this is the last time I do it. That was a clean fight. All right, red time. cover yeah there's a emote limit on 10 <clears throat> I did a lot of changes tonight but the other day some of them apparently didn't work but uh, at least not emote limit worked <laughs> oh careful gotta remember climb on the right side so I don't fall down because of the invisible wall here the safe space can still get hit up here by certain machines like the Deathbringer right Deathbringer now need to learn some skills here I need to learn those so I can uh, craft more or get more shots if I need to. Now, there's just a Ravager left before the next group of machine spawns. Oh wait, uh, the Scrapper is alive still, but uh, i got to focus on the Scrapper so the guys can shoot cleanly at him. Without having to touch him. Thank god we have this new strat here. Now that we're actually here with no hit. By the way, it's a PB by the way. This is the furthest I've ever gotten. But, let's end this challenge and complete it. Who found this? Me again. <laughs>
Why are they not shooting? Finally shooting at the Ravager. Scrabber is down. Ravager should be close to death. Come on, guys. Should be fairly damaged at this point. Finish him. There we are. So now they spawn over here. Those guys deal with them. Should have damaged them enough to make it easy for them. So let's focus on Sir Death Ringer. Looks like he's looking up here. Let's not take any chances. He's turning away. turning back. Probably not gonna talk much for the rest of the run, just gonna focus. But uh, I'm sure you guys can understand that. <laughs> oh, they frozen. throws him. Oh! They absolutely wrecked him. I can't really do anything now, I just need to let them do the job here. There we go, first half down. <clears throat> first down, half down. Chance to catch a breath and prepare. Now, next Deathbringer will be over here. First half of Rich, yeah. Second half, obviously, still gotta be worried about Deathbringers, but the Corruptor that spawns here can hit me. Where is he?
Stormbird, as long as I don't provoke him, he's not gonna attack me. Down. How are you guys doing over here? Not great, by the looks of it. This guy might be close enough for a hit. Nice. Looks like both of them are getting pounded. Can't really help them much here. They just kind of have to do it on their own. <sighs> Be careful, but to jump off the cliffs. I'll try my best. Come on, guys. They're not attacking you. Please, uh, let it rain on them. Why are they not shooting? Can they not... Do they not have an angle on these guys? There we go, now they're doing something. Took away his gun, so he can't do anything. And once these two are dead, Glint Hawks are gonna spawn. One down, long leg to go, and he looks to be bugged out or something. Because he's just kind of standing there. <clears throat> I guess it really confuses the AI that I'm not down there. Oh, here are the Glint Hawks. Gruber machines will spawn once there's only one Glindhog left. I need to get some shots. Uh, <clears throat> uh, wait, did I not have the... Oh, it's this one. Oops. There we go. Uh, do, do, do. Not sure why this clan dog is frozen, but works for me. Should be that. Glendox. Still got that long leg. Oh, that. he died from that. 
It was like one shot. Oh wait, there's three clan dogs. I thought the other one was dead. He's dead. Just this one to go? No. I stole the other guy as well. These guys are being very slow today. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now they have spawned over here. This way. I'll wait for him to turn away because this guy has a better angle on me, so there's a good chance he could hit me. Oh, it's the corrupter bugging out over here. So, only gonna shoot at him when he's turned away. But the corrupter sometimes bugs out and shows that attack symbol. Even though he's not actually attacking you. And he can do that from like really far away. Deathbringer is dead. So now we just got the small machines and of course Stormbird. But I shouldn't have to worry about the Stormbird at all. Oh, is this Glendog not dead yet? Oh, now he's definitely dead. Where's the Corruptor? over there. The Corruptor can hit me up here. The Corruptor has like godlike range. So, um... Oh, here's the Stormbird. Already. Yeah, you heard that right there? That was a Corruptor shot. So now let's just go AFK for a bit. Play it safe. Because the Stormbird is here. We don't want to provoke him. Come on, Osoran. You can do it, I believe. Oh, uh, only Corruptor and Stormbird now. Pillow bag is down. Getting some good shots on him. At least they're only attacking one guy, so the other guy has like um, an easy time just shooting 
because he's not being attacked at all. Where's the corruptor? It's down there. Ah, uh, let's... He's too far away. Where's the corruptor? I don't see the corruptor. Oh, there he is. I saw that explosion. Come on, guys. Do it. Wait, is the Stormbird fighting the Corruptor? It looked like he was fighting the Corruptor for a sec now. He has a plan for the final boss, yes. The entire run has been practiced, so don't worry, I have strats for all of it. Stormbird's still around? They're taking a long time to kill the Stormbird. And Corruptor, for that matter. Come on now, guys. I believe in you. Got some good shots on the corruptor there. I mean, to be fair, it's all the other two worst machines to be alive, because <laughs> they can easily just piling on. Stormbird is kind of just bucked right now, so... Does that just Stormbird now? <sighs> Come on, guys, finish the job. Do it, do it, do it. Can't have that much health left. <sighs> Come on now. Uh, they're just only hitting like the tap, like his toe. Uh, yeah, he's got a really bad angle on him. He can't really get a, a shot on him. <clears throat> uh, it should just be a matter of time. Ah, now he missed all these shots. Come on. Please don't tell me he can't hit him. That'd be so sad. I 
Are you kidding me? Uh, please don't tell me I have to do something. I don't like this. Oh, he's hitting him. I saw the sparks on him. He should be solo on elf. Come on now. Come on now. It's one guy left. I don't know where the other guy is. He's probably bugged out at this point. Sadly, he's probably bugged out. <laughs> he's at least hitting him again. Come on now. <laughs> this is taking forever. Uh, this is uh, possibly the slowest ridge defense I've ever had. Even in practice, we didn't have one that took this long. So I'm not really sure what happened, but uh, usually it goes a bit smoother than this. But who cares, as long as I don't get hit. I couldn't care less. Come on now. Finish him. The problem is the only hitting is like foot, which is like not really a weak spot. <sighs> I mean, at least it's helping a little bit with the nerves. Oh, yes! There we go. <clears throat> and one, actually two more fights. <clears throat> we got the long leg in the city before Hades. <clears throat> Come on now. Uh, gotta finish it now. Gotta finish it. I got this. Oh yeah, just a reminder, you saw I finished... I almost forgot about this. <clears throat> you saw I finished uh, Red's defense <clears throat> at full health, but as you will see after this cutscene, I will be... pretty much have no health. Obviously that happens during uh, the cutscene, so it can't be avoided. It's scripted damage. As I said in the beginning of the run, it doesn't count. Because otherwise the run would be impossible, and again, that's no fun. No. But don't worry, I'll heal myself up immediately so we can uh, keep track of the health. They marched on the spire, dragging that thing with them. Take care of the other step. I've got to go. So you can see they're almost low on health. I'm gonna use a full health potion. And then, let's go. So we got the long leg here in the city we need to worry about before the Hades fight as well. Hoping I can get a stun on him. Before him. Um... I've been seen. But great. Drink that corruption potion. Oh, that was a little scary. I didn't realize he could go that far towards me, but we're safe. Shouldn't have to worry about him anymore. God damn it. That was actually pretty scary. I should have just tried to kill him uh, from a distance. Whatever, let's worry about Hades now. These guys have never spotted me or never shot at me before, but just in case, I'll go behind that cover. If 
Hades has started the signal. It must have gotten through the defenses. Anora, Baron's vanguard. I have to get up there. So for the Hades fight, there's a spot you can sit in where he cannot hit you. However, that spot is sadly on the opposite side of the arena. So I have to make it to that spot without him hitting me. But if I get to that spot, I should be fairly safe. Oh. Can I do this climbing? Oh, it won't let me. Guess we'll just do the jump on there. I don't trust climbing. Climbing has failed me before. I really don't trust it. Easy. <laughs> So if it looks like I'm taking it really slow, it's because I am. I don't trust it. <clears throat> anyway, let me take a breather here and get ready. Do I have enough shots? Let me just make sure I have enough shots before we head into it. Don't want any stupid thing to happen now. Not this far into it. Let's make sure we have enough shots. Alright, here we go. Please get behind cover. finish this he can still hit me if I peek at the wrong time then he can get a loggy shot on me also machines will spawn later in the fight that can get behind this rock and hit me but the deathbringer cannot hit me unless I peek at the worst time possible Also targeting him here, so I can easily see his cannons through the <coughs> through the leaves here. Don't know where to shoot at. Okay, he's gonna spawn in the machines now. All right, let's take a look. Where's the the ravager? Is usually the one that gets behind here. Please don't. Please just ignore me. Please just ignore me. And the Ravager is fighting Ball or somebody. Got him targeted, so if he gets here, I know it. Scrubbers can also do it. Let's just make sure things are targeted, so I know where things are. But that scrubber might. Played extra safe. Intensify aggression. Shut up, Hades. What corrupt is staring right at me? I don't like that. At least Nora is doing a good job of distracting everybody else. Oh. 
Death Ring is down. We still have the other machines. Before we can go for Hades. Got Ravager and Corruptor. No gun for you. Fuck you. Fuck, that was close. Uh, fun fact here. If I stand in this very corner here, there's so many invisible walls around me here that the corruptor or none of the machines are small enough to hit me here. Um. The goddess's enemy is laid low. Everybody is dead. We got it. But in this corner right here, I'll just explain it before we move on. He cannot hit me. The only thing he could do is shoot me. But I took out his gun before he did. And everyone is dead. System threat imminent. I'm more than a threat. Yes! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Challenge complete. Uh, I'm sorry everyone, I did do it once again before attempt number 69. <laughs> I know you always wanted me to do it on that, but <laughs> sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's go! That is Horizon Zero Dawn, new game, ultra hard, without taking any damage. Except for scripted. Master Override. Let's go! <laughs> Oh, another challenge has been completed. Let's fucking go. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> oh, nice. I'll uh, look at the notifications in a second. Oh, what a awesome run. Thank you so much, everyone. <sighs> My god. Whew. Thanks for all the GGs. I... I'm so happy all of you are here. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go. Oh, there's the hype train. Oof. <laughs> <sighs> nice. I did not expect to beat it today, but here we are. <laughs> Let's go. That is so awesome. <laughs> Indeed, you were all here. You didn't miss it. <laughs> ah, let's go. That was awesome. A bit of a long time in the making. I forgot when exactly I started this challenge. Some time ago, I guess. <sighs> I started this challenge, I think it was November or December, where I did it like every Monday. And then I got burned out on the challenge for a while, took a break, came back like two weeks ago, and here we are. Horizon, no damage completed. So for those who don't know, I have now completed the game without taking damage on New Game Plus Ultra Hard and New Game Ultra Hard. I've also completed the Frozen Wilds without taking damage on New Game Plus Ultra Hard. Those are the three no damage runs that have now been completed. I don't know if I'll do another no damage challenge in this game. I don't really know. Maybe something at some point? I don't know. I have a feeling if I'm doing another no damage challenge, it's probably gonna be a different game. Okay, Gaia. Uh, sorry about that. <sighs> Where was I? You were telling but uh, we'll see. Right. Yeah, so, um, so no damage is okay, done. Okay. Let's go. I'm not gonna do Frozen Wilds new game. Screw that. <laughs> Frozen Wilds new game. I'm not gonna do that. No damage. That run is so terrible. <laughs> that ain't happening. <laughs> uh, I don't know what my next challenge will be. Thank you everyone as well for all the bits and subs. And all, everybody who followed as well. Of course, if you're new to the stream and want to see more of this, more of this stuff, 
Don't forget to hit the follow button because there'll be a lot more of it. What did you feel? Oh, let me look at the notifications here. Charlie with 50 bits. Thank you. Lumi gifted us up to Kiro. Lumi, thank you so much. Means a lot. And Kiro, please enjoy the emotes. Six with 1500 bits. Let's go. We puck. We please. Uh, how do I say that? We puck. We please. Uh, no damage. With ease. Indeed. You gotta say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then Orion with uh, 150 bits. Thank you so much, man. Charlie with another 15. Appreciate it. And then Michael coming in hot with a 10 bomb. No, sorry, 9. Oh, my, my apologies. 9 gifted subs. Thank you so much, uh, Michael. That is truly generous of you. Really appreciate it. And the subs went to Jack, Battle Pants, Valkrit, Toasty Madeo, uh, Cats Can't Smile, Apollo, uh, Gandaroof. Uh, I've been. How do I say that? I believe cosplay and Avila. I probably mispronounced something there, but thank you so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed this run, and I also I hope everybody who enjoyed the journey leading up to this run with all the failed attempts and forget about that. Just a little. Man, of course there were a couple of close calls in this run, but. Uh, Especially that long leg. That long- I thought I was gonna lose the run to that long leg there at the end, dude. I completely misjudged that long leg. My god, I'm so happy he didn't hit me. Ugh, I completely misjudged that. Thank god I didn't lose it to that. Anyway, oh my god. Peace. Time to tuck in. I wish you were pleasant. But yeah, horizon no damage. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Oh, this feels so good. This feels so good. Whew. And of course, if you have watched this on YouTube, a like and a comment on the video is very much appreciated and consider subscribing for more. I'm sure Chile has spammed that whole stream, but <laughs> thank you. Oh, man. I'm so happy I completed this. I was scared. I was kind of scared this challenge was gonna take a long ass time, but um, but uh, here we are. Ah <laughs> oh, man, so let's go. GG, GG. Once again, just wanna say it again. Rise and zero dawn on the hardest difficulty, ultra hard, in a new game mode, starting completely from fresh, completed without taking any damage. Let's go. G G Horizon zero damage indeed. <laughs> G G.